Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on how to make histograms in Seaborn library. I had a video on histogram in Matplotlib before, but this one, this one is Seaborn, so it is a little more advanced and you can make some more different kinds of interesting um, plots using histplot function of Seaborn library. We will see in details today. Okay, so I first imported Seaborn and Matplotlib both. Uh, let's make the data frame sns.load and data set so this data set is available to everyone tips okay so you just can load this data set from seaborn library itself so this is the data set we have total bill tip then sex male and female smoker that's yes and no day the day of the week time, dinner or lunch time, then size 2, 3, 4, the size of the crowd. Okay, the most basic uh, histogram in Seaborn, okay, is hist plot function. So I'm giving the data set, the tips, this is the name of our data frame. Then the value, total bill, just the continuous variable, okay, and I'm going to get the distribution. So this is the most basic one. Uh, okay, I'm just going to plt.figure big size 86. I'm just going to make this plot a little bigger. I don't like the small plots. It looks nicer when it's a little big. So this is the standard size that I liked. Okay. I'm not going to work on the uh, title, then X and Y label, uh, anything, because I think I um, showed it several times in my previous videos. I don't want to repeat myself. Okay. So today's video is, will, is going to be focused on only the histograms and few things on histograms. All right. X. These are all the vertical uh, bars, right? If you want to change it and make it horizontal bars, you simply change this X and you put it in the Y direction. Look at it. This is how it looks like. If you like it this way, you can use that as well. I just want to show the option, but I will keep it vertical throughout my video. Okay. Bean width. Five. If you put bin width 5, you can see the bin width becomes a little uh, wider than the default ones. The next thing I want to show you, look, this distribution is a little bit skewed, right? Now, uh, there are a few different options to deal with the skewed data set. One thing is uh, you can take the log right log of the data and then make the distribution when you use this hist plot in seaborn you don't need to take the log you just put log scale true and you are gonna get this uh, distribution in log scale okay here it is so if you look at it uh, if you just forget this small burst here look it's almost normal now right the distribution looks almost normal so this is one of the way people do it, but I wanted to show you because his plot already has this log scale parameter. You can use it. A uh, few more uh, style styling thing. If you like feel, uh, okay, no, it's already feel true, feel false. You will get this kind of plot. No feel in it. Also element. Step. So you can get these steps. Uh, if you like it, you can use it as well. So I'm going to use, uh, okay, I don't need this field false and element step. I will keep it as it is. And I want to get two histograms depending on the time. As you can see in the data frame, we have time, dinner, and lunch time. So let's see the distribution of the bills depending on the time. So we have two distributions here. You can see the for lunch time it should be blue and dinner time it should be 
orange, but here they're, they're overlapping, so it became gray. Okay, now if you don't want this gray, you can multiple stack. If you use multiple stack, it's not gray, it shows orange and blue. Okay, and you can also add a density plot with it, KDE true. You can see the density plot as well. Okay, the next plot, I want to make it. Look, in histograms, when you get the distributions, by default, you always get the count, right? But, uh, okay, let's forget all of this. I want to make it, instead of count, I want to make it probability, okay? Here, you get the distribution on probability, not the count anymore, okay? And you can see the distribution here, this is the original distribution, and here is uh, the probability, it's a little bit different, isn't it? Okay, uh, there are four different uh, things you can get in, as a stack parameter, that is frequency, count, density, and probability. Here I'm showing the probability, you can put frequency two, this is the frequency, then you can get density. Here is the density. Okay. Okay, I'll keep the probability one. And count is the default one. We always get it. Uh, you don't have to even uh, put the stat parameter here to get the count. Okay. <clears throat> Let's bring back this one. I want to develop some more on this one. Okay, look, when you do the step, um, element step and feel false, it looks like this step. Uh, okay, you may like uh, this uh, um, not feel equals to true uh, in general, but there is another thing you can add that is cumulative. Cumulative true. Okay. If you add cumulative true, what it does, it gives you the cumulative. Each data is the sum of uh, cumulative of all the previous ones. In that case, it's, it will keep going higher and higher. It will never go down, right? Now, look, I will add a hue parameter here. Hue day, okay? You can see, uh, if you remember, we have the day parameter, day variable, where it has the day of the week. So you get, we have uh, data for four days of the week. So we have four cumulative uh, stairs here, okay? Now, uh, look, we may not want to see all of them, right? We may only want to see you order, we may only want to see the weekends only. Sat, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. Look, we get only two of them. Okay, so we got the histogram of only two days of the week, the cumulative uh, histogram. Okay, cumulative plots. So this is, I feel like, pretty interesting and uh, could be useful. Uh, all right, we always do histograms, almost always, most of the time we do, we, when we think of histograms, we think of a continuous variables and a distribution of a continuous variable, right? But in Seymour library, uh, in histplot, you can get, if I want, I can get a categorical variable. Look at it. I get the count and the day. As usual, I will change the... Yeah. And plt.show. So, look. And they're just 
touching each other, but I will make it 0 0.8 shrink so there's gap in between the bars. Okay, so it's almost like a bar plot, isn't it? It's like a bar plot. You can, uh, when we use a map plot and make bar plots using this uh, categorical variable, what we do, we have to do a group by function and uh, get the count of each day and then plot it to get a bar plot. But when you use hist plot and just pass a categorical variable, you get the count of each uh, uh, each uh, value of the categorical variable and get the bars like that. Okay. Uh, now I want to get the hue. Hue. Okay. I never use that smoker thing let's see uh, you see we have a smoker variable here yes or no so i will use the smoker here look uh smoker yes is blue and uh, no means orange color you can see uh i actually like multiple uh dots okay when i use multiple dots you get side by side i like it better okay or if you want, you can get stack as well. If you do stack, it's going to be on top of each other. Okay. So, okay, for now, I will get uh, dodge okay, side by side. Uh, look at it. Uh, so, okay, you why don't you just see stack or dodge separately? So, yeah, stack or dodge separately. Okay, so using hist plot, you can get the bar plot as well using the uh, bar plot of this uh, uh, categorical variable. All right. The lastly, one more thing. I uh, one more interesting thing I will show you. I thought it is very interesting that you can get a uh, kind of a heat map kind of plot as well. So, uh, when we think of histograms, we always think of one cat one continuous variables, and here I am showing categorical as well. But we do, we do not very often think of two variables, right? But when you do SNS and SNS hist plot, you can use two uh, continuous variables. Look, total bill and tip. So you can use two variables, okay, and look you can get a heat map kind of a plot okay uh plt dot figure big size eight by six and the lt dot show here it is so you can see the density of the data is really high in this really dark color and when the color is really light that means the density of data or the count of the data is really low here okay and uh, you can kind of compare with it compare it with the scatter plot hmm, it's taking time to do the scatter plot what's wrong okay you have to add the data here okay so look at it when i got the data uh scatter plot here you can see it's really uh in some of this this area is kind of uh cluttered right and you can see this area is darker here you know so the count of the plot the dots there are more dots here and in these corners where the dots are less you can see these are kind of very light all right so instead of scalar plot you can sometimes use this kind of heat map like um, plot as well that looks nice okay uh, i want to add a hue parameter hue sex or okay look at it male and female you can see these are lots of females here and some males outside okay okay now Instead of both uh, continuous variables, you can also use the categorical variable. 
Look, in y direction, I put the categorical variable, and in this direction, I put the continuous variables. And you can see, instead of uh, this, I will put the time. Time up. Okay, lunch or dinner time. So day and time. So you can see that lunch time, Thursday, we dinner time is really less. Uh, you know, the code of the data is really less. And lunch time is a lot. And you can see that majority people are in 10 to $20 range. And when you get 40 to $50 range, uh, the uh, it's not too much and only dinner time saturday and sunday and this area is really dark okay so that's all about histograms today and i hope you like this video and the video uh, and these plots are interesting and you will use this in your real life projects so if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you so much for watching